Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And yeah, believe it, I was listening to the CB band. I just was using this new application. It's not new, new to me application called SDR++. And I downloaded it a couple of months ago, and I started playing around with it. But I couldn't find any documentation, a manual or something, that would show me how to use all these many features. I mean, you get scroll down here. All these features. And if it looks familiar, it's very much like another program that's been around a long time called SDR Sharp. And unfortunately, I stopped using SDR Sharp again because it became cumbersome. I kind of lost how to use it efficiently. This one, I <clears throat> installed the software, and I'll show you in a second where to get it, and it was very intuitive how to use it. And I hadn't used SGR Sharp in a couple of years, and it has a bunch of drivers for various hardware devices, including SDR Play. And so I'm using this to control, my, right here, control my SDR uh, RSP Duo. So I just selected that uh, up here at the top. It showed me there's the RSP Duo and bingo. It was up and running, running good, uh, very efficient. It only uses about 3% of my CPU. Uh, matter of fact, I can look right now. Well, I thought I could. Yeah, that's using 7%, uh, 14%, under 15%. Okay, let's go back. So it's not an inefficient program. And it comes in various versions for different operating systems. So let me show you the web page. It's on uh, GitHub. And it's by this gentleman right here, SDR++, he spells it out. And then here's the files. And then here's a little quick introduction. And then you go down here, and it shows you how to install it. And you just download the release, and you uh, click on it, and then it extracts it to a directory, and then you find the exe file, and run it. <laughs> it's, it's that simple. Here you go. You can go here to the release page, and here's the release page. The latest release is 1.04. I don't know if that's what I'm running or not because it's been a couple of months. And then down here are the files. You can run it under this operating system, Ubuntu, Windows X64. That's what you want. It's a zip file, and you just unzip it, and then you put it in a folder of your choice and click on the exe, and boom, it starts running. Do a couple of things to set it up, like choose the uh, particular radio you want to use if you have one of your own. Or I believe you can even use radios on the Internet. And let's go back to the program. So this is, uh, I'll put, uh, put the link to this uh, site here down in the first comment under this video. So let's go back to the program. Here it is running. We just I'm going to quickly show you a couple of things that made me want to use this and learn more, but I can't find a manual. I can't find a manual. I haven't looked real long. So if you know anything about this and you know of a manual, I did watch a couple of videos. Let me just see if I can quickly show you 
this one here was a good one by Signals Everywhere. He's a subscriber of my channel. He did a quick overview. Uh, still didn't get into a lot of details. I've looked at several of these that's on the internet, and none of them got into the details that I was looking for. But I'm still looking. Anyway, uh, let's go back. I want to show you a couple of things. Over here, similar to SDR Sharp, is the uh, couple of sliders here. This is a zoom slider. I mean, that makes zooming so easy. And notice, um, I've got, I can set the bandwidth. I got it set to 10 megahertz. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. It's about 21 to 31. Yep. So, and it's running that full bandwidth and still not using a lot of CPU power. Plus, it's very responsive. And then you can change, uh, it. that's the zoom, this is the max, so you can change the scale over here using that slider, and then you can change what this looks like by using this slider. Nope, that's the minimum, I'm sorry, that's the minimum. That's interesting, I thought... There was a slider to change. Um, hmm. Where'd I go? <laughs> the slider to change this to a different color. But I don't see it. I, I lost it. Okay, anyway, moving on. Um, you can, so if you zoom in, for instance, let me zoom in here. Oop, that's too. You can. Click on this and move where you're, what you're seeing back and forth really smooth. And then another thing, the thing I struggle with on the SDR Uno is changing the frequency. So I can just take this, move it around back and forth and see the frequency at the top changing. Very smooth. Boom, I'm there. You can change it up here, of course. And you can put in these banners. Um, I think, where are those? Oh, band plan. You can, you can select a band plan for where you're located. I've selected, of course, USA. That's these markers up here. I think you can also make, I know you can make what's called bookmarks. You can add a bookmark. Like I can add a bookmark here. And there's the frequency. And I'll, uh, let's see. And I'll give it a name. I always call this CB. Just for the heck of it. And apply. And there's the bookmark for that particular frequency that I was listening to. So you can use this to, uh, when you're down in the broadcast bands, international broadcast bands, and you find a station like Radio Romania that I found this morning, I can bookmark it and call it Radio Romania, whatever I want to call it. The thing is, you're able to also import bookmark list from other people, but I don't know where to find them. I, I was like, oh, that's what I want. I want the, uh, like the EIB list. Well, that would color up the whole thing, so that would be too much. But somewhere someone has gone through the EIB list and made his favorites. And so he's got a favorites marked all through the spectrum. I'd like to find it. Right now, I'm going to make my own. This this one I'll delete, but I'll make my own. Let's, let's click on this, and I can remove this. 
gone. Okay. But I can make my own later. Um, and you can move the, the bookmarks either to the top or to the bottom. I prefer the top away from all the signal. You can change the color of, let's see, color VFO. Oh, you can change the color of this right here. Let me, uh, there. You can change the color of this. I can show you that real quick. It's not a big deal. Oh, I don't want to auto color. Oh, right here. Nope. All right, there you can change it, but I don't know how. Anyway, moving on. Like I say, I really need to find a manual or something or a good video of how to use because these are these are all I think they call these plugins. Let me get FFT size color map. I'm not sure what that is. Ooh, I recognize that name now. Sinks. Themes. I'm not sure what that is. But the, like I say, the one thing I don't see, and then there's a recorder up here somewhere, I don't see a scanner, which there is for SDR Sharp. So there's probably one out there, that, but it didn't get installed in this base installation. Oh, there's a recorder right there. So you can crawl, you can record the the uh, bass band, all this stuff. It's going to be a huge file, or you can record just the audio. I don't see um, a scheduler that like SDR Uno. So there's there's a bunch of cool stuff. Check it out if you can help me or help us. And you know of a manual or something like a manual that will help us learn how to use this. So here's some more markers here. Here's the S meter, our signal to noise ratio. I think that signal to noise ratio. What? Well, anyway, if you could find, God, look at this. That's the beauty of this, using this on 10 megahertz wide. You get to see all this, all these signals. Boy, there's a lot of them right now. You can change the uh, LNA gain. You can change the IF gain. You can turn the AGC off and on. You can select um, the various antenna inputs on the device. I'm on tuner one. 50 ohms. Yep, that's correct. That's correct. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be getting anything. Notch filters. Oh, it just, it, it, I'm really impressed with this. And like I say, this was updated in August. There may be a newer update. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you can help us out with how to use this thing, I'd really like the looks of it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. That tells me I'm doing shows that you're interested in and I'm not wasting your time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.